Good morning, kids! Welcome to our children's message. I'm Teacher Normie. Kids, before pandemic, nakapag-travel na pa kayo abroad? Sa US or sa Dubai, kung saan marami kayong may kitang skyscrapers o yung matataas na buildings. Kids, dito rin sa Philippines, maraming um, buildings. Example niyan is yung mga malls, um, Ayala Malls or SM Malls. Alam niyo ba kids kung bakit tuwing may lindol hindi natutumba yung mga building? Kasi matiba yung foundation nila or yung pagkakagawa sa kanila. If a building does not have a good foundation kids, then it will not able to stand up especially kapag may mga lindol. Kids, our lives is like a building that being built by God and He is the builder. Um, and like the skyscrapers kids, God wants us to build our lives upper upon a firm foundation and that is through his son Jesus in fact um, kids um, in the Bible says that Jesus is our cornerstone uh, this means that Jesus is the most important part of the foundation yung mga nagtatayo ng building kids um, they would set up a corner cornerstone first and then build the rest of the foundation and the building all line up to the cornerstone Basahin natin kids yung um, um, verse natin na may kita natin sa Ephesians chapter 2 verse um, 20 to 22. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Kids, um, Paul goes to describe the church as a great uh, building where God dwells. In ancient uh, building practices, kids, um, the chief cornerstone was, cur was carefully placed. Um, this was crucial because the entire building was lined up with it. And the main cornerstone, kids? Cornerstone kids is uh, traditionally the first stone laid for uh, structure. Siya yung pinaka base kids. Um, kids, we as believers need, need to be correctly lined up with Jesus, our cornerstone. As part of God's family, we are joined together with Jesus as, co as a constantly growing uh, temple or building with Jesus as a cornerstone. Kids, um, as God's children, we are constantly becoming more like Jesus. Um, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can um, become more and more. We can become more and more like Him. Our lives become a place where people can see the presence of God. Isa rin tayong uh, malaking pamilya kids because we are Christians. Did you know that um, you have brothers and sisters all over the world? Sabi ni Paul sa verse 21, In Him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. What Paul is saying is that God has skillfully fitched it, each one of us to do what He wants us to do. Sa verse 22, kids naman, um, sinasabi ni Paul yung function ng temple. That God places individual believers into the structure, meaning that is continu continually being built. We are being built together. The goal of the building kids is to become a dwelling place where God lives by His Spirit um, with Jesus as our cornerstone. Um, because God wants us to work in our lives in individually to build the right foundation for our lives. Um, kids, um, he, also, um, he also works in all of us. As Christians, um, we work together to show God's love for a world that does not um, know Him yet. The Heljan kids, I invite you to stand up uh, para sabayan yung ibang teachers for our uh, song and dance.
Mother's Kids. Um, punta lang ulit tayo sa Ephesians chapter 2, verse 21 to 22. In Him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in Him, you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by His Spirit. Let's pray, kids. Um, Lord, we are very um, thankful that you give your son, Jesus, to become our cornerstone. Lord, um, guide us every day um, for us um, to work together um, in sharing your word to the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye, kids. See you next week. Submit a video of here dancing with us. Make sure you visit GCIPH Online Children's Ministry page for the details.